the Global Combat Ship also known as the Type 26 Global Combat Ship, or simply Type 26 Frigate, is a ship design and construction program currently underway by the Ministry of Defence of the United Kingdom. It will replace the 13 Type 23 frigates of the Royal Navy and export orders are being sought. The program has been in development since 1998, initially under the designation Future Surface Combatant. In March 2010 BAE Systems Surface Ships was awarded a four-year contract to develop the Type 26 Global Combat Ship. The design has passed Main Gate 1 and detailed design is underway with the final decision to be made in early 2015. Under current plans, first steel will be cut by the end of 2015 and that the Type 26 will enter service as soon as possible after 2020. Development, Future Surface Combatant, the Global Combat Ship started development under the original Future Surface Combatant program intended to replace the Royal Navy's Type 22 and Type 23 frigates. Planning for a replacement escort vessel started in 1998 with the ordering of a research vessel, the RV Triton, to study whether a trim around design was practical for such a large and complex vessel. However, by the early 2000s it was apparently obvious the Royal Navy favored more conventional designs. In March 2005, plans were released for a two-class solution, a cheaper medium-sized vessel derivative entering service in 2016-19 and a more capable versatile surface combatant entering service around 2023. In early 2006 the MOD started a sustained surface combatant capability program which explored synergies between the FSC and other needs, for minesweepers, patrol ships and survey ships. By early 2007 this had crystallized into the three requirements. C1, C2 and C3. C1, was to be an anti-submarine warfare task group enabled platform and would displace around 6,000 tons. C2, was to be a more general purpose platform displacing somewhere in the region of 4 to 5,000 tons, and C3 was to be a global corvette to replace a larger number of smaller vessel in service, such as minesweepers, patrol and survey ships. The global corvette was to displace around 2 to 3,000 tons. The C3 found its roots in early 2004 when the MOD issued a request for information for a smaller class of ship known as the global corvette. Low running costs and the ability to operate forward in shallow, coastal areas where larger ships cannot, were both important. BAE Systems, VT Group, Thales and Rolls-Royce responded in autumn 2004 with concepts ranging from a well-equipped offshore patrol vessel of 1,500 tons to an advanced and very capable corvette of 3,000 tons, along the lines of the USN's littoral combat ship program. The FSC concept was brought forward in the 2008 budget, at the expense of options for two Type 45 destroyers not being taken up. In 2009 BAE Systems received a contract to design the C-1 and C-2 frigates with a planned 25-year life. A total of 18 vessels were planned to enter service from 2020, at a pace of roughly one per year. In early 2010 the C-3 variant was dropped for the mine countermeasures hydrography and patrol capability program. Contract awarded, on February 24, 2010, First Sea Lord Sir Mark Stanhope referred to the future surface combatant as the Type 26 frigate during a speech at the International Institute for Strategic Studies. This designation was repeated during a House of Commons debate on defense on March 15, 2010. On March 25, 2010, BAE Systems were given a full year, a £127 million contract by the UK Ministry of Defence, to fully design the Type 26 Global Combat Ship. It was confirmed that the first of the Type 26 Global Combat Ships is expected to be delivered to the Royal Navy by 2020. The October 2010 Strategic Defence and Security Review reaffirmed the government's commitment to the Type 26 GCS as soon as possible after 2020 the Type 23 will be replaced by Type 26 frigates, designed to be easily adapted to change roles and capabilities depending on the strategic circumstances. Under the SDS are the two classes of the former future surface combatant, previously known as the C-1 and the C-2 variants were merged into the Type 26 Global Combat Ship. The Type 26 combines advantages of both variants into a versatile ship, 
designed to readily change roles and capabilities depending on the strategic circumstances. As part of the review it was also announced that the remaining Type 22 frigates would be decommissioned without replacement within six months of the review. This leaves the Royal Navy's escort fleet at 19 destroyers and frigates. Unlike the FSC, the global combat ship will have only one hull design. However like the Franco-Italian family of FREMM multipurpose frigates, three versions are proposed, a design optimized for anti-submarine warfare, an anti-aircraft warfare variant, and a general purpose variant. Possible partnerships, as of January 31, 2011 Malaysia, Australia, New Zealand, and Turkey had all expressed interest in collaborating on the global combat ship, and the UK was in close discussion with Canada. A Canadian Union campaigned that the global combat ship threatened Canadian shipbuilders and in the run-up to the May 2011 election a spokesman for the Canadian Defence Minister ruled out involvement with the British programme. Turkey also later rejected the design as not meeting its requirements. In January 2010, Jane's Defence Weekly reported that the governments of the United Kingdom and Australia were exploring the potential for cooperation on the C-1 and C-3 designs, which corresponds closely to the Royal Australian Navy's requirements in replacing its MEK-0200 Anzac-class frigate with a new frigate type. An initial decision for the frigate replacement is not expected until at least 2018. When the two countries signed a defence cooperation treaty in January 2013 the Australians agreed to collaborate on their frigate requirement and investigate involvement in the Type 26 project. The British and Brazilian governments agreed on a defence partnership that may lead to the sale of five or six Type 26 frigates to the Brazilian Navy. In October 2010, BAE made a detailed proposal to the Brazilian Navy, for a package including Type 26 frigates as well as variants of the Wave Knight class tanker and River class patrol vessel. In August 2011 it was reported that the UK government, together with BAE Systems, was considering entering into partnership with the Indian modern private defence shipyards in India to jointly design and build the Type 26 global combat ship. Characteristics BAE's original working baseline for the Type 26 design was a vessel of 141 metres long with a displacement of 6,850 tonnes and an in-service date of 2021. On November 30, 2010 it was reported that the specifications had been paired to reduce the cost from a £500 million to a million pounds per ship. By May 2011 new specification details began to emerge of a smaller 5,400-ton ship emphasizing flexibility and modularity like the German Blochen Plus Voss GmbH MEKO designs. The new design has a length of 148 meters a beam of 19 meters and a top speed in excess of 28 knots. Type 26 will have a crew of 118 with room for 72 embarked troops. Type 26 is designed for up to 60 days endurance and a range of approximately 7,000 nautical miles at 15 knots. Global Combat Ship is designed with modularity and flexibility in mind to enhance versatility across the full range of operations, including maritime security counter-piracy, counter-terrorist and humanitarian and disaster relief operations. Located in the stern is a mission bay with a ramp allowing for the deployment of rigid-hulled inflatable boats, unmanned surface vehicles or a towed array sonar. Early designs had a well deck at the back for launching and recovering unmanned undersea vehicles. The latest BA design now has a large midship's flexible mission deck instead of the well deck. Aircraft similar in size to the Boeing Chinook can be flown off the large flight deck, and the hangar can accommodate Royal Navy Wildcats and Merlin helicopters. The flight deck also includes an extra hangar door and space to accommodate unmanned aerial vehicles. Royal Navy ships will be equipped with the Type 997 Artisan 3D search radar and Sea Scepter air defense missiles launched via 48 BLS canisters. An additional 16-cell or 24-cell main strike length VLS is positioned forward of a bridge capable of firing missiles such as Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles, anti-ship missiles and quad-packed sea scepter missiles. Like the Type 23 frigate it will replace, 
Type 26 Global Combat Ship will have an acoustically quiet hull for anti-submarine warfare and will be armed with Stingray acoustic homing torpedoes. Each Type 26 will be fitted with a Thales Underwater Systems Type 2050 biosonar, while eight vessels will be equipped with an additional powerful towed array sonar recycled from the Type 23s. The Type 26 will also be fitted with guns of various calibers. Instead of the RN's traditional 4.5 inches gun it is expected to have a NATO standard 5 main gun either the Ota Breeder 127-64 or BAE Mark 45. Smaller guns include two Phalanx CIWS, two 30mm DS-30M Mark II automated small caliber guns and a number of miniguns and general purpose machine guns. The propulsion system of the Uren ships will have a gas turbine direct drive and four high-speed diesel generators driving two electric motors in a quad-log configuration. In 2012 Rolls-Royce repackaged the MT-30 used in the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers so that it would fit into smaller ships, and it is likely the Type 26 will use the MT-30. BA have suggested that some customers will install gas turbine engines and others will prefer to sacrifice two to three knots of speed by choosing cheaper diesel engines. The choice of cod log configuration for propulsion is somewhat surprising as it is a simpler version of the cod lag propulsion used on the Type 23 which this ship is to replace, and both of the Type 26's design contemporaries, the Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier and the Type 45 destroyer, use integrated electric propulsion. Ships of the class, the Royal Navy is expected to commission the class as a replacement for the 13 Type 23 frigates currently in service. The first vessel is due to enter service with the Royal Navy sometime during 2021 and by the mid-2030s the Type 26 will be the backbone and workhorses of the Royal Navy. On May 24, 2012 Peter Luff during a Commons debate responded to a question regarding the number of ships to be ordered saying, I can confirm that the Ministry of Defense's current planning assumption is for the construction of 13 Type 26 global combat ships. On December 3, 2013, in a Westminster Hall debate, Philip Dunn stated that we, the UK government intend to place an order towards the end of next year, 2014, once the design is mature which we expect to be for eight vessels initially. See also, Type 45 Destroyer, Future of the Royal Navy, FREMM Multipurpose Frigate, Franco-Italian Equivalent. Perseus, MBDA Concept for a Supersonic Anti-Surface Missile. References. External links, BAE Systems Video, Global Combat Ship, BAE Systems, Global Combat Ship, Naval Technology, Global Combat Ship. Navy Recognition, Global Combat Ship